All right, so I'm here with Anthony. Anthony, how old are you? I am 34, gonna be 35 in uh, June 18th. Are you originally from Arizona? Yeah. What part of AZ, bro? I was born in Glendale, but I born, uh, lived in Surprise my whole life. Surprise in El Mirage area. What's your current situation right now? Are you homeless? Yeah, I've been homeless for like almost uh, maybe about two years, but I've been homeless before, like uh, uh, off and on ever since I was like 12 years old, 13 years old. Since you were 12, 13 years old? Yeah. How do you end up homeless at 12 and 13? So I was having problems at my household, like getting yelled at a lot. And then uh, I would just like be told to get the f out or to leave. And so I would leave and I wouldn't come home for weeks on end. I would just be going like from friends to friends, spending the night because I didn't want to go home, you know what I mean? I didn't want to get yelled at and I didn't want to, I didn't know, you know? I was just like, if they don't want me here, you know, I'm gone. So I would just take off. And then other people would ask me, you know, why don't you go home? And I would tell them because they told me to leave. You know? And they would be like, well, just stay here, spend the night here, take a shower here. And just, you know, sometimes I wouldn't shower or, you know, just going from place to place like that ever since I was 12. Man, that's rough, bro. Did you grow up with both parents, mom and dad? No, my dad, my dad left when I was young, probably when I was about three years old. I don't remember, to, you know, I don't remember when he left, but it was a long time ago. And my mom was, she was always on meth, you know, for, for she, I would, she wouldn't come out of a room for day, days on end sometimes. Yeah. She was just hooked up meth and uh, it was kind of tough, you know. Yeah. Was it only you or did you have siblings? I had siblings. I have a, a younger sister and a younger brother and an older sister. My older sister was always like hooked on as well. And uh, while my younger brother and sister were just too young. You know. So was there like, um, so there was a lot of drug abuse going on in the, in the household? Yeah. So growing up, this is just what I seen, you know, just seen drug abuse, you know. I, I smoked weed like at a young age, you know, I started smoking weed like at, you know, 11, 12 years old. So I was already on the streets. I didn't do major, you know, heavy drugs. I just I started experimenting with marijuana, you know, that was my, I would drink and smoke. Yeah. And that was my coping mechanism, you know. How's your brothers and sisters doing now? They're good. My brother's doing good. My sister's doing good. My sister, she, she moved, my little sister moved out of state. She's uh she married uh, some guy and he's he you know he makes good money and they live they live they, you know she's married so she she then she doesn't she never used drugs yeah so she she's good my little brother just smokes this was your little sister you're talking about yeah my older sister's you know she's uh she's still using drugs do they know about your current situation right now yeah and what did they tell you just keep my head up you know stay strong I live about but a year and a half ago, I had everything, you know, I had everything because I, like, as I, as I was, like I said, I was younger, I started out, you know, off and not homeless or whatever, and, but as, as I got older, I had kids, you know, and a, and a wife and everything, and had doing the family thing, and then when that ended, I went on my own back to my grandma's, but, and I started, I started working, so I, I slowly but surely stacked money, you know, I got a house, a place of my own, a car, you know, and I got full custody of my children, but, I started, I started using drugs and, and um, I lost everything. From what age to what age were you like married and from about the married life? From about 20 to about 28, 27. Okay. And what kind of job were you, did you have? During that time, like I was just doing like uh, landscaping work. Okay. Like to, uh, not for like a company or anything, just like side jobs and stuff like that. Like I was always making money, you know, doing, doing, helping people doing stuff. And I, work, I also work for a moving company. You were hustling, doing it for yourself. Yeah. yeah. But I started working for a company when I was about like around 30. And I, I just, like, I, 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 I made good money, you know? Yeah. Working for, I started for a landscaping company making $11, $12, and I ended up making 25 Working That's for that same company. So you moved up? Yeah. So I, I, what, what triggered you to start doing the substances again? Um, I can't think, I don't think it's one thing, it's just a, um, it's just, the main, the main reason why is I feel like no one cares about me. Yeah. So you think you just carried that trauma from your childhood? Yeah. yeah. I always felt like no one loved me. That's my main, um, problem. Yeah. You know? And I still struggle with it, but... People, 
people, you know? I know. It's tough. It's tough. I'm sorry, bro. Sorry to hear that, man. No, it's okay. I just still struggle with it, you know? Yeah. To people that look down on people that are out here homeless and struggling, what, what would you tell those kind of people that, that are just like, you know what? Just go, just go get a job, bro. They're right. Or that, or that think that, you know what, the homeless are just... They're right, they're just, bro. They're right. A lot of them are right, but it's tough. It's tough. Because they don't know what you're dealing with. Yeah. You know? Some problems are in your head, but... They're right, you know? I hate to say it, but they're right. Go get a job, you know? Go, go do what you have to do. Because everyone struggles, but... It's the drug addiction, you know? The drug yeah. addiction is the main problem, like why you can't, you know? Otherwise you'd be perfectly fine just you know, going to get a job and all that, but not having, you know, not having money for drugs and then being at work, and then you start withdrawing and everything, and, and it's just, it's not, that's why you don't want to do it. And then, and then you're gonna wake up, you know, you gotta go to work, and you're sick or whatever, you know you can't. Are the majority of people that are out here homeless and struggling are they stuck on the all these substances like the blues and stuff like yeah. that? Yeah. Do you think that's the main problem that's going on right now? Yeah. With the I, homelessness? I do. Or is it because it, it's a, it, it, housing is too too expensive? No. 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 It has nothing to do with that. You that you're in the streets, you know what's going on, like. Because I was a single father, working for a company, you know, and I wasn't making very much money. Yeah. And I, I was able to pay my rent. I was I had money. I had you know I had I was making it you know. I was yeah. making it. So there's no way that you can say that it's that. All it takes is, you know, get, get, get a job, you know, save your money. Don't spend on things you don't need to. You have enough for a place, even if it's not the biggest, you know, budget, you know. And why do you think all these people are using these blues nowadays? Um, it's like... Uh, you know, because you see other people using it. It's with the young, you know, the younger crowd, or you know, and you, you, you know, if you try it, whatever, it's very addicting. So you get hooked right away. I never used heavy drugs like that ever until recently. Until like about two years ago, I, I began to use, you know, um, blues and meth, you know, and I just spiral out of control down real fast. And before you know it. That was, you know, became my life. Lost everything. I'm sorry, bro. How old are your kids now? My daughter's 13. I have a 12-year-old and a 10-year-old. And, and do they know about your situation? Yeah. And your, were, your ex-girl, too? They were taken away from me because uh, I just couldn't support them anymore. So what do you do at night, bro? Like, where, where do you sleep? Sometimes I don't sleep. Like, I stay up, like, for like four or five days, like, on end. I usually, usually, I don't sleep. I stay up for like three to five days, you know? And how I do that is, you know, using meth. I'll, I'll do drugs, you know? And I usually, because there's, I don't have anywhere to go. So I just stay on the streets and then just, like, all these other people, they have like tents and stuff like that, but I don't set up anything. I just sleep wherever. I just, wherever I fall asleep at. Why did you set up a tent? I just, I just, I don't know. I don't know, to be honest with you. I don't, you know, I just fall asleep, you know, wherever I'm, wherever I'm at, wherever I can't go anymore, you know? Usually sitting down somewhere. Do you want to get out of your situation? Yeah, I would say yeah. Do you have a game plan on how you're going to do it? Yeah, I just I'm I'm addicted. I'm too addicted to the drugs right now, and it's it's hard. Have you ever tried going to get help for your yeah. addiction? Yeah. And what's up with that? I've been I got the first time I I I got clean for like a year. Yeah. And I was doing great, you know. I I stopped using drugs and I got a job again, and I was you know working and I was you know coming up, you know like saving my money and I was doing I was doing good. I thought I had everything under control. But I didn't. 
So I just started using it again, bro, and I fucking lost everything. And then people would tell me too, you know, like, you're gonna lose everything. And I just didn't listen. To the younger generation, to all the youth out there, if they're watching this interview and they're thinking about trying substances or running around in the streets, what kind of advice would you give them? I would just say, don't do not do it, you know? There's there's, there's other ways, because I'm, I'm someone that had it all. I had everything a man could dream of, and I lost it all because of drugs. And it's, you see it, like, all the time, you know? And you just be like, that can't be me. But it can be. So you just gotta not, don't do it. Drugs are terrible, you know? They, they, they ruin people's lives. They ruin my life. And I just, and, and it's, it's weird because I just can't stop using, you know? It's just like it, it like gives you, you know, a numb feeling to where it blocks everything out and you just begin to not care about yourself. You begin to not care about anything else but the drug. Thank you for sharing your story. I really do appreciate it. Yeah. Are you okay with me using this on my YouTube channel? Yes, sir. All right, bro. And just in case my subscribers want to reach out to you with any sort of help, where can it reach out to you? Do you have any social media? I don't have no social media, but I do have like a, well, I have a Facebook, you know? Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's that's basically it. I've... Do you check up on your Facebook? Uh, Yeah, every now and then, yeah, I do check up on my Facebook. Right, if you want to say it out, it's a, uh, it's Ant Dog Sosa, A N T D O G G S O S A, and that's that's my Facebook. You can, they can message me on there. All right, homie. Thank you for the interview. Yeah, I appreciate Simone. it.